good morning dear students today we are going to do one writing skill that is a descriptive paragraph so what is basically a descriptive paragraph descriptive paragraph can be a paragraph on a person it can be a paragraph on a place it means you have to describe that thing it you can describe a person also you can describe a place also but while doing that paragraph you have to follow some of the guidelines so i will be giving you some of the guidelines you write down all those guidelines in your fair notebook as it is and while writing descriptive paragraph you go through all these guidelines and try to understand what lines are to be added in this paragraph suppose you are going to describe a person you will be describing that how does that person look you can work on his physical features you can work on his you can say qualities okay this quality is all the traits but there are certain rules that you have to follow and you have to keep in your mind so for that i am going to give you some of the notes so start writing how to write down a descriptive paragraph and today we will be doing descriptive paragraph on a person okay suppose in your paper it is asked write a paragraph on your father write a paragraph on your mother your friend your cousin your teacher anyone can be there okay so while writing it doesn't mean now you are a student of ninth class so you have to keep certain rules in your mind you will not write down simple simple lines you have to make a rough draft but in order to make a rough draft all the guidelines should be in your mind that what to be written and what not to be written and how to arrange all those ideas so make a rough draft add all the hints write down all the hints what to be written then arrange them so what to be written for that you should have some hints some guidelines that you have to follow so bachche start writing when you are going to describe a person you have to write down his name his or her name age and height suppose in your paper it is asked describe your father so you have to write down his name also you have to write down his age and you have to write down about near about height not exact height because you have not measured with inch tape but you can write down that it is short heighted or it is tall he is tall or he is short whatever okay <clears throat> personal and family background suppose you are going to describe your friend you have to write down a very simple paragraph on your friend so you have to write down his personal background also his family background also if you are writing for your friend okay so these are the points that you have to write down yes the scene you have to write down qualities also disqualities also but how will you start a paragraph all these points you have to uh, cover how to start with name age and height the next line should be on person and family background bachche these notes are very much beneficial for you if you will follow all these steps your paragraph will be very much impressive you will be able to write down according to 9th class level and you will be able to score full marks in that if you follow all these guidelines and moreover it will become easy for you to arrange those ideas to write down maximum in a quality manner quality will improve okay education training professional skills training skills now suppose you are writing on your teacher see these paragraph my father my mother my friend my teacher these are done in class 1 also and why this question is asked in class 9 what is the reason behind that why cbse has introduced this descriptive paragraph in 9th class 
because this descriptive paragraph is not a new thing for you you have been doing it for last 8 9 years but why it is asked in class 9th and class 10th exam because according to your age according to your level you have to write down this paragraph smartly by following all the guidelines straight away any paragraph on father mother anybody can write down but there are some certain rules that you have to follow if you follow all these rules your paragraph will be very much impressive you keep this thing in your mind okay beta and you jot down all these in your fair notebook keep these notes with you it these notes will be beneficial to you in your 10th class also because same writing skills are going to be repeated clear beta so educational professional and training okay you have to write down about attitude of that person attitude means behavior How, what kind of person is that what kind of idea he or she is having so attitude idea <clears throat> views and values so one line you frame on his attitude on his ideas which kind of thinking that person is having which kind of mentality or views that person is having what kind of values do, does he or she possess okay then looks or appearance now you have to describe physical features of that person also that how does that person look okay looks or appearance so when you are going to uh, write down some lines on looks or appearance so there are very good hints are given how to describe eyes how to describe height how to describe complexion okay how to describe all the physical features so this is a very good way you can write down looks or appearance in looks or appearance suppose you have to describe his face see all person don't have similar face some face are round shape some are oval shape some are square shape not exact to square but similar like that so there are certain words that you can pick up to describe only face you keep face of your father in your mind your mother your teacher your friend your cousin or any neighbor okay you keep their face all face structure will be different but how to describe that face which word will come in your mind suppose any of the child describe your father's face and describe your mother's face which word will come in your mind type in chat box okay dhiren has written oval okay appealing aparan has written appealing okay any any word you can use for your father or mother to describe their face uh, now i want to see how many words come in your mind that oval has come in your mind appealing has come spherical and short chin okay so dhiren aparan sudiksha has written round saksham has written blushing face attractive face blushing means you are feeling shy but that is also good attractive i am attractive that is good blushing that is good but you have to describe the shape of a face okay so now by reading your messages in chat box i have come to know uh, six words i'm not talking about eyebrows you i'm talking only about face structure blushing attractive round spherical appealing only these words bulging bulging means like uh, swollen swollen kind of conical conical face dekho jara yug ne likha conical to yug kya kehte tum sari maths ki figures mat likh dena conical face hota hai kisi ka cone matlab aise aise hoti cone shape kisi bande ki face cone ho gaya upar se corner ऐसे होता किसी का कौन फेस कर्ली हेयर आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट हेयर 
I have asked you what word comes to in comes in your mind if you want to describe person's face. सिर्फ मैंने ये बोला सबसे close आपके पास आपके father and mother है उसमें से किसी एक का फेस डिस्क्राइब करने के लिए मुझे वर्ड बता दो एनी वन मुझे अभी तक सिर्फ तीन चार वर्ड आए हैं वही सेम मैं चिन्ह की बात ही नहीं कर रही मैंने कहा फेस का स्ट्रक्चर के लिए एक वर्ड बताओ एक बच्चे ने लिख के भेजा हार्ड वर्किंग पर्सनैलिटी मैंने क्वालिटी पूछी नहीं है मैंने पूछा है कि इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिस्क्राइब एनी बडीज फेस योर फादर फेस और योर मदर फेस कौन सा वर्ड माइंड में आ रहा है यू आर अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ नाइन्थ क्लास विच वर्ड इज कमिंग इन योर माइंड दिमाज रिटन लाइक ऑरेंज नो वेन इन नाइन्थ क्लास यू सपोज यू आर राइटिंग अ पैराग्राफ ऑन योर मदर माई मदर फेस इज लाइक अ ऑरेंज You'll be writing this word; it will seem good. So that's why these notes are given to you. These words are given to you. These notes are very much beneficial for you. So write down looks or appearance, face. How would you describe face? Okay, face. So write down. You have to describe face. eyes lips or teeth this one okay you have to describe about hair hair can be short curly black unkempt clothes clothes can be what kind of clothes do they wear jeans skirts formal formal casual well tailored well tailored height build in a build you can write down overweight overweight muscular lean complexion so see somebody someone have british complexion someone are having uh, you can say dark complexion so you have to write down these lines also so write down about complexion pale dark or fair or british so you pick up these lines so in this way you will be writing these lines on complexion etc then you will be writing characteristics suppose any of the renowned personality any pm is given any politician is given okay any scientist is given that person can also be asked that is very much renowned very much famous so you have to describe after writing about all the things about physical features how does that person look okay then there is a time to write down about characteristics of personality and characters okay so you can describe personal 
professional intellectual intellectual and moral qualities like and moral qualities moral qualities like trustworthy confident sincere sensitive patient mm -hmm. then occupation occupation and specialization specialization then opinion of others opinion of others about him or her opinion of others about him or her okay then you can write down about achievements achievements honor achievements honor distinction etc only these much okay so these are the notes which are very much helpful for you see suppose you don't have these notes straight away you will start writing a paragraph and i think you will not be able to write down so nice so well because these notes are so much beneficial for you pick up these notes keep these notes in front of you now think that are you following that you can say a uh, level that first of all what to be written then what to be written after that describe occupation and specialization opinion about his or her his him or her and how what line it to be added at last at last we are supposed to write down a line on achievement honor and distinction distinction means if any of the achievement is there any reward that person has got or any another distinguished personality that person is or that any famous thing he has done so you can end up with this so this is the correct way to write down descriptive paragraph about person in class 9 clear so you keep all these notes in your mind see whenever you are going to describe any of the person in your test or in your paper any of the person is given that you describe this person think about that person in detail and when you are going to write down about that person start with the topic sentence topic sentence means don't forget to write down about the heading 
whether it is my dad my mother abraham lincoln or the beggar whatever is asked write down title for that title you are going to score one mark okay so write down uh, topic sentence then after that yes jiren whatever the diary we have done yesterday it is to be done in fair also and these things also to be done in fair okay so descriptive paragraph is basically a person which describes vividly very clearly it describes a person okay it doesn't mean that it is going to describe only person it can be place it can be object it can be idea it can be feeling but now my focus is only on descriptive paragraph about a person okay so for writing this you have to prepare some notes in rough okay you have to write down all the notes on on your basic observation whatever you have observed in that person you have to organize all that information in a proper order and all these lines should be connected to each other because if your paragraph will be very much effective so it will uh, give a chance to a reader to understand about that person because if your description will be very much good only the image of the person will be reflected in the mind of a reader if you have described that person in very nice way using good vocabulary words using proper ideas that the for reader the image will be very much clear okay so you just illustrate illustrate that pose illustrate it fully explain it fully support it fully okay your focus should be only on your paragraph that what to be added in a nice way now i'm going to take one of a hint sometime i have gone through your 10 year paper sometime uh, one image is given and you have to describe that person see this is visual image one image is given tell me whose image is this okay tell me whose image is this i will appreciate that child whose image is this write a descriptive paragraph in 100 to 120 words based on the visuals given below suppose it is asked in your paper you have to write down descriptive paragraph on this person who is this type in chat box who is this only aditya has it only aditya has written correct answer what about others what about others only aditya diman has written correct answer in chat box hey pranay has written rajiv gandhi pranay it's really bad you know aditya has given very correct answer shall i show you again don't take it so lightly i have taken that example from your 10 year papers it can be asked in your paper also rn has sent me correct answer and aditya out of 27 only two students have sent me correct answer i just want to announce their names now there is a third one okay dhiren dhiren aryan sumati aditya only four others are not aware which part Uh, who is that person yes he is dhyan chand see such kind of things can also be asked in your paper not only to describe your father and mother okay so keep these things in your mind okay now tell me who is that if you have to describe that person who is that you have to write down on einstein 
लेट्स टेक मोर एग्जाम्पल आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू शो यू तुम लोग चीजों को लेते नहीं ना सीरियसली इट इज आस्ट इन योर टेन ईयर पेपर हु इज दैट डिस्क्राइब दिस पर्सन डिस्क्राइब दिस पर्सन अब बताओ यस दलजीत हैज रिटर्न राइट इट इज डॉक्टर भीमराव राम जी अम्बेडकर अब देख लो तुम लोग अपना लेवल यू कैन वेल इमेजिन डोंट थिंक दैट योर पेपर यू कैन डू इंग्लिश एग्जाम विदाउट स्टडिंग यू हैव टू स्टडी हार्ड बेटा दोज हु आर सिटिंग आइडियल tell me tell me who is this raghav sharma is the first one to send me correct answer very good raghav it is steve jobs yes good so such kind of persons are asked to be described shall i show you so, some more yes you can get image also see these are the hints i am providing because these hints i have taken from your 10 year papers in papers what was asked visual image is given sometimes simple written is the beggar describe any beggar so it is your luck now that which kind of question is asked in your paper it depends on your luck suppose very simple is asked describe any beggar then it is very easy for you to do you follow all these guidelines and uh, write down okay so i am going to give you one homework see this homework write a descriptive paragraph in 100 to 120 words based on the visual clues given below you find out his pick paste it in your notebook who is this who is this dekho sabhi ne mujhe sahi answer bheja hai main aapko batati hu ek ka answer you will people you people will laugh and enjoy main i don't want to make fun of anybody par main name nahi bolungi sabhi ne sabhi ne answer bheja hai sachin tendulkar all are sending me sachin tendulkar बट देखो मैं बताती हूँ किस किस का सही आंसर है परमीत का धीरेन आदित्य इकजोत मिनट रिधिमा आर्यन चोपड़ा सुमिति राघव दलजीत धीरेन रिति कपूर रिधिमा एकजोत आदित्य परमीत जसलीन ऑल आर सेंडिंग मी करेक्ट आंसर एक ने पता नहीं क्यों गलती से कपिल देव लिख दिया जल्दी जल्दी में सो so, बच्चे दिस इज होमवर्क दैट आई एम गिविंग यू दिस यू हैव टू राइट डाउन अ हंड्रेड टू वन ट्वेंटी पैराग्राफ्स ऑन दिस इमेज इफ यू आर एबल टू फाइंड आउट दिस इमेज इजली इन एनी ऑफ ओल्ड मैगजीन और इन न्यूज पेपर एनी वेयर इट इज वेरी इजी फॉर यू टू फाइंड आउट यू कैन पेस दैट पिक बट इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू फाइंड आउट नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन गिव अडिंग सचिन तेंदुलकर सो राइट डाउन अ डिस्क्रिप्टिव पैराग्राफ ऑन सचिन तेंदुलकर दिस इज अ वर्क दैट आई एम गिविंग यू एंड दिस विल बी डिस्कस्ड टू मोरो यू हैव टू फॉलो ऑल द गाइडलाइंस वट एवर आई हैव गिवन यू एंड यू आर सपोज टू राइट डाउन all these guidelines in your fair notebook also okay first of all you will be writing guidelines you will keep all the guidelines in front of you and you will pick up every every step and according to every step you will be writing you have to describe its physical his physical feature you have to describe about his characteristic at last you will be writing about his achievement honor distinction etc so work on this and those students who will be writing well will be definitely appreciated in english class and bachche it is a right time to study now only one month is left 
only february month is left with you okay in march you have your final exams and on the basis of that you will be promoted to next class so there are so many dreams which are associated with you your parents have so many expectation from you so you have to fulfill their expectations we all teachers are working hard but there is a time to cooperate you also have to work hard the students who will be working hard those who will be be cooperative definitely um you will be scoring good marks dhiren has asked when will rt start revision test will start from 14th feb okay till 9th feb your syllabus is going to be over then notebook checking your all notebooks will be checked and then from 14th feb for two weeks your revision test will be going on okay so bachche you do this paragraph in your fair notebook okay clear